What we have before us today are 13 varieties of Rayo's soup. These come in jars, which is very aesthetically pleasing. We're big fans of Rayo's sauces, and we're also big fans of some of Rayo's soups. I don't think we've tried all of them for, right? I didn't know they had 13. I had no idea either. I assume they've expanded somewhat recently. I feel like I've not seen all of yes. these. Yes, I mean, cue Campbell's. the conspiracy theories about yeah. Campbell's owning them now, et cetera, et cetera. As far as I know, that deal is still like in the works, but whatever. Yeah, I know, like nothing would be happening. But maybe they've yet, got but... like buddies now and they're like, oh, come on over, we've got a soup factory that you can borrow. Yep, new access to soup factories. <laughs> um, Goal. But I, but I love soup. Do you love soup? I think it's one of my favorite foods. Wow. I love soup soup so i don't think i'm ever not in the mood for some sort of soup there's so many kinds that's true uh what what kind is your favorite go ahead um that's really hard but i think one of my favorites is broccoli broccoli oh cheddar. yeah you do like a broccoli cheddar it's so good and i don't make that at home like so it's always special to me but i also love french onion soup a lot and we're gonna eat one today and that's really exciting it does not have the cheese on it but it is um right here so you want to start with that let's do it french onion french soup. onion we have like a full it keeps going it curves around the table so there's this is gonna be an active soup tasting there's um not a lot of french onion soup on the market and i know that because i was recently shopping for them there's a lot of mixes that can be multi-purpose and used for dips and stuff like that, but not a lot of canned French onion soup. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It does end with a bit of that jarred flavor yep. mm -hmm. that could probably be fixed with like a healthy dose of melted cheese on top and some toast or whatever. Like mm -hmm. you'd be like, this is fine and good, but it just, there's like a kind of tinniness on the finish that doesn't it like cuts off the nice roundness of the caramelized onions i do think that it would help so much to have cheese on this i think it would like put a piece of bread in this put some i don't even know what bread at home you would use would you use like I a mean, hamburger like a bun no, come on i mean you could what would you put i mean little baguette slices just like two of them okay and then melt some cheese on it or a hamburger bun. Thinking round. A nice hamburger bun. No, I bun. do like the idea of that fitting directly round. over a bowl. I think yeah. that's really, really cute. But I will say, I just spit. Not in the soup, I spit on myself. But um, I've had Progresso French onion soup in the past. I might change my mind when I retaste it, but I don't remember it being very good. And I like got it to make French onion soup at right. home and it was just like, what well, else wasn't very good. This, this tastes like it has. Yeah. What is like sherry or something in it that yeah. gives it like a little bit of a little sweetness bit or sorry I'm just gonna keep eating it. My main thing with French onion soup is I do, do think and this is not uh this is I, it needs to be so hot like you need to have to wait to eat French onion soup for like a full half hour like I, everybody else is done with their appetizers and you're still like hey. I resent it so much when it's too hot so to eat because you want to eat it so badly you can't. it's gonna absolutely burn your mouth off there is something about that soup that gets hotter than any other Lentil. Just lentil. I love lentil soup. I do too. This is another soup that I make at home. It's a nice one. It's so cozy. It feels very like something a medieval person, sorry, I touched your boob. I like a medieval that. person would eat. Mm -hmm. Like what you get at medieval times. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you do literally done. get a lentil soup. This literally reminds me of the lentil soup in medieval times. Oh, 100%. Yeah, it's got that like dried herb <laughs> right? kind of thing going on. I smelled it and was right away like, there's herbs in this that I'm not a huge fan no, of, to and be they, honest. There's too many and they really finish out it's, on the end. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of, and the herbs turn into a little bit of like an herby slop in there. There's also not a lot of lentils. <laughs> no, it's mostly <laughs> like, carrot. It's mostly like mm -hmm. chunky carrot soup. Tastes a little dirty. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite. Like they didn't rinse the lentils. But yeah, it, it's one of those soups that like, again, like it, you'd get it like a cafeteria or something and you'd be like, it's soup and now it's in my stomach. But yeah. like, am I going to buy it? No. I know when they give you soup at medieval times, you're usually just so hungry at that point because you've yeah. just been like standing in a common area waiting yeah. for them to open the doors and you're just like, oh, this is so good. And you're starting to drink your, your medieval margarita yeah. that's the size of your head. I know. Man. I do too, except for the sad horse stuff. <sighs> <laughs> it impacts my enjoyment a that lot. Sucks. I know. Yeah. I, I was like, ugh. I just like ride a hobby horse around instead. <sighs> Something like that. This is tomato basil. Basil in jars is a dangerous thing. I know we are not huge fans of the Rayo's like tomato basil sauce. And it seems like you are not. No. 
No, I don't like it at all. What happened? Again, it's like that weird. It tastes like somebody. It tastes what is musty. That? It really is. It is very. It doesn't taste like basil. It tastes like dried, dried herbs <laughs> drawer. Does it say? I don't. It just says spices on it, which is like sure, whatever. Water, carrot, celery, spices, spices, basil. basil. It looks like it should sauce be. It should too. be better. I, it feels like something. If if these are all the ingredients. Something happened. I was expecting Rayos to do a really good job. So there is another tomato. tomato. There's a there's a creamy Let's tomato that. that we have down okay. the, right there. Yeah, yeah. This is the this creamy tomato. Good. It I does believe. look much better. Don't put the, the basil ruined it. There is a place in Yonkville that does a creamy tomato bisque, and it's like, and I think they serve it under like a puff pastry, like a cheddar oh, puff pastry top. My God. So good. I love this. Great. Good. Humongous difference. Don't don't bother with the herbs if you're gonna use dry. So herbs. much better. This is so and it delicious. really is creamy. It's so, so creamy, creamy and cheesy tasting. Yum, yum, yum. It has a nice texture. I like that it's chunky mm -hmm. because it sets it apart from sauce. Mm -hmm. It's like actual meal rather than just jar of sauce. This is mm -hmm. what this is like my favorite so far. Absolutely forgot. It has, has. has some balsamic vinegar mm -hmm. in it, which I think is interesting and adds like maybe just a little bit more tang to yeah. like amp brighten up, it the, up, brighten up the, yeah, the natural flavor of the wow. tomatoes. It's really good. I love that. We're going to have to revisit mm -hmm. our best tomato soup ranking. Mm -hmm. That's quite good. If you put some like really buttery, garlicky, like croutons in that mm -hmm. or something, it would be so good. Yum. Love I'm gonna that. Put that. I'm going to put the good ones up here. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, this is a medium one. I let's so keep for going with um, not yours. Yeah, don't you don't have to worry it. about no. it. You just go on with your life. Um, okay, chicken, chicken noodle. noodle. Congealed on top a little bit. There's got some nice oiliness. Some schmaltz floating on top, which is a good sign. And this is a chicken. This is our number one ranked chicken soup. So we really like this. We like it. And it is really good. Those are big, thick noodles. I do think it makes a difference that mm. it comes in a jar. Mm -hmm. As a little bit of a finish. There's a bit of like a tang that I don't love. For sure. But I think it's so but much better than a lot of canned chicken noodles. Soup. It really is. I think the, the, the oiliness and the fattiness mm -hmm. is really what like puts it over the edge. Like you can still kind of taste that silkiness in your mouth after you're done. Yes. I like 100%. That. And it's not overly herbed. Like there's nothing no. that's really like aggressively strange about it. The noodles could be better. I like that they're thick and soft. It's a different pasta experience. Like I would never want that to be pasta. I would eat in a bowl of pasta, mm -hmm. but there's something about it being a soup pasta that I'm okay with. You know what I like? If it's gonna be a fat squashy kind of chicken noodle, I want them to be short and straight. You know, like, oh I mean? yeah. I like that when it's almost dumpling-esque yes. looking. More of a, yeah, a slice of pasta rather than a Totally, because yeah. it feels like, yeah, like someone just cut it or something like that. And this just feels like bloated pasta to me. Yeah, still, it is, it's but good. it's still pretty good. It is, that's good soup. That's good soup. That's good soup. Okay, Rayo's vegetable minestrone. You like minestrone? We've had conversations about minestrone. I think that I'm We both feel the same things about minestrone. Yeah, I think it can be, I think it's good when you're in the mood and then there's other times where it's like, I just wish that I was eating something more interesting than this. I think it benefits a lot from a lot of Parmesan cheese in it. Like yes. grated cheese needs. I don't think I've ever had an amazing minestrone. Mm -hmm. I think I've always had like decent minestrones. I will say, I think my main thing I don't love about minestrone usually is that it's got so many kidney beans and I spot one in this one. So that actually makes me That's feel good. pretty good. Do you not like the skins on kidney beans? I don't know. There's something else. Like, yeah, maybe. I don't mind, like, a kidney bean and, like, a salad. Mm -hmm. But in a soup, it just feels out of place. It's not a soup bean to me. Yeah. I'm not a big kidney bean fan in general. When I make chili, I usually use just, like, cannellinis or I would something prefer, like I that. much prefer a cannellini. Yeah. Um, I think this is fine. I think it does suffer from the herb thing again. 100%. It's just too many dried herbs. Yeah. It's still good, but it's not great. No. For that. Again, acceptable, you know, plain soup or something. I don't know. Nobody's eating soup on a plane, but if you were, it'd be that one. I would love to eat soup on a plane. <laughs> In turbulence. Oh, so fun for that guy next to you. Pasta fajoul. But it, they do pasta and. Pasta I and fajoul. You say pasta I'm not, fajoul, right? I'm going to say pasta fajoul. Okay. Good. Yeah. I don't even know I how else see, you I would was say like, it. I, I know it's not spelled that way, but I don't. I don't. 
I'm not gonna say it. I, I'm not messing with that. No. I've only heard it referred to as pasta visual. What is, is visual bean? Mm. Yes, it is. I love this style of pasta, the little round uh, oh, you, tires. Is that what it is? Yeah. Um, okay. I always think of pasta visual as being bland and filling, and that's what this is, and I actually like no, it. No, it's quite good, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it's very beany. It's very beany. It's not overly salted, no. but it's savory enough. It's extremely cozy. Mm. I see a single can of beanie. And this is also, put some grated cheese on it, and that's going to improve the flavor so much. This would be a really good, like, homesick. Like, mm. like forget the chicken noodle. It's chicken noodle. It's good, but, like, this is so... Like it's like that, yeah, that bland in that good cozy way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just want a nice cozy bland thing in your tummy. That's I love it. Feel good. I really like that the broth has picked up some of the thickness of the beans mm -hmm. in it. It the, so the whole thing has it's body. Really cozy. I love it. It's very homemade yeah. tasting. It really is. My yeah. friend's mom used to make pasta mm -hmm. visual, and they were from like Ohio or something. My and friend's mom used to make something so that good. she called bean stew. It had nothing, I don't even know if it, it must have had beans in it. It was canned, but maybe she added something to it. I cannot figure it out. I crave it all the time. It's mm. just like a savory, mushy thing that I loved, and I don't know Yum. what it was. Check it out. Okay, what are we eating now? This oh, is potato and sausage. Okay. This is a soup we also like. In our potato soup ranking. Yes, this made our potato soup ranking. It's got bean, too. It has bean and... <laughs> It has greens of some Sunny. sort in it. It's very salty. Mm. Very, it's got that like sausage broth kind of thing going on. That's pretty good. I really like it. I think this is also a little bit bland, but in a way that I appreciate. I think it's um, also different, mm. It's which is nice. That's. It stood out from every, yep. when I taste tested potato soups, they're mostly creamy. They're mostly chowdery right. kind of soups. This is really different and I think it's such a good change. I think it straddles the line too because it's not pureed, but mm. it's not broth either. Mm -hmm. Like that is a creamy broth mm -hmm. with the like creamy potato chunks and it all kind of comes together. I appreciate that the sausage is in like little bits too. I like I don't want a big a big chunk of sausage to chew on here. And you can taste it, but it's not good. too fennelly. And also the potato pieces are a very nice size. They're not gargantuan, which I think I would have hated because they would have been mealy. Yeah. And these are very silky. And they're not great. Yeah, they're not grainy at all. Like no. Some, like the, you know, usually getting like a minestrone or something. I like that too. I think that's very good. I like that a lot. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is... Excuse me, Tuscan style beef. It has a oily thing going on on top. Very I'm much so. About. This looks like a nice beef stew. Yeah. Really, there. That's another thing that there are weirdly like not that many of on the market. When we were but shopping I for beef swear, stew, I remember getting canned beef stew so much as a kid. Like it's all dinty more. Yeah. Oh, this has a weird herb thing going on. Sadly, mm, the beef doesn't look incredible. No, it's dry. No. So much weird, what? weird herbs. Stop. It's that same. Mm -hmm. Dirt. I hate that flavor. Dirt herb. It stays in your mouth. It really sucks. I don't like that. Ugh. And that dry beef, you just kind it's of like. It's not good. No, I know. It's all stuck in my teeth now. Yeah, mine too. Oh, do you remember if you tried this butternut squash soup when I you did that I taste did. test? I don't think I did. I don't I'm, know if they made it back then. I'm hoping I'm it's excited. good. Me too. It's confusing. It is. Is that, why is that spice? It says it has turmeric per pee. That <laughs> pre pee pee. Pee pee pee. Pre pee. Why can't I say it? <laughs> I don't even know what you're trying paprika. to say. Paprika. Oh, paprika. Paprika. Turmeric, paprika, onion powder, brown sugar. There's a lot of conflicting oh chicken fat it, this has all kinds of stuff in it it's actually for a butternut squash soup a very long ingredient list and it really just tastes like kind of pureed butternut squashes i know but any flavor i'm getting i do feel like it's like things that don't quite because mm, meld all, all i want with good butternut squash soup is like butternut squash maybe some butter and sage and then like maybe a little nutmeg or something and i'm mm -hmm. happy yeah and a little we nutmeg to nice. get to get complicated here I oddly, I don't mind it, mm -hmm. but I, I think the turmeric is really like adding an interesting kind of 
spice characteristic that's not like mm -hmm. like it's not jumping quite into curry territory mm -hmm. but it's strange yes I, yeah, that's real. Like, I'm gonna put it within the middle of the I, road. That's a for, real middle of the road one. Yeah, because it is kind of good, it's and I would eat it. But. Yeah, but it's not. It's not meeting everything I want. My arms weren't long enough to reach all the rest of them. So Justine's doing a solid. Keep my long arms on. My long arm of the law. I got my, I got my long arms on today. <laughs> if you haven't seen Long Legs, you should see it. I wonder if it's streaming yet. It's not rude. I know. You can like buy it for like 20 bucks and rent it or whatever, but yeah, not for freezies. Okay. I don't buy things for my digital library. I'm against it. I know. And one day I'm going to really regret it when it's like, you can't stream anything. It's like, what do you own? And I'll be like, I have a nothing. DVD. I have a DVD collection still. We buy DVDs still. I have some. Because there are things that you can't find on stream. No, and absolutely. if you really like it, you should buy physical media. I and you don't know what's gonna happen. I, I, if, if the world goes to shit, but we still have mm -hmm. electricity, I will be yes. able to watch season one and season two of Northern Exposure over and well, over that's again. Fun. Um couple of seasons of Aqua Teen mm. from, from Mike's collection. I'm sure we still have Boondock Saints from his collection too, so we're good. Do you remember the Aqua Teen Hunger Force episode with um, MCP Pants? Yes, of course I do. Okay, I have that song in Get my head. Candy. Yeah, I want candy, bubble gum, and taffy. <laughs> um, I make a reference, I think, in any jello or jelly article I ever write. I'm pretty sure the like social caption is commence to jiggling. Yes, and I'm like one person's gonna get it, <laughs> but I can't not write it. It was so iconic. Um, okay, tortellini and vegetable. That sounds good to me. I like tortellini in a soup. Me too. That's Tim's favorite soup is a tortellini. A tortellini soup. and burrito. Mm -hmm. Loves. That's a soft tortellini. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I think that is just so bland. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Man. The filling in tastes the tortellini like tastes like absolutely nothing. No, that's not cheese. How'd they do that? I don't know, because I think Ooh, that's like their tortellini in like the meal we had of theirs. I really, I hate that soup. Okay, it's aggressive. I know, that's how I feel though. Chicken and gnocchi. Gnocchi, gnocchi. is what my mom says. Chicken and gnocchi. Gnocchi. <clears throat> Trying not to let any uh, temperature. Are they all made in Canada or just this no. one? No. Yeah, I did notice. Some of them are made in Canada. Weird. Some of them are made like, in Jersey. Oh, it's a soft gnocchi. No. Mm. Herby thing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Why? Stop. Are the Canadian ones the weirdly oh, spiced ones? Oh, blame our neighbors to the north. <laughs> Uh-oh. They don't know what a fresh herb tastes like. Yeah, man, whatever that, whatever that herb flavor is, it is so, Beef is a ton, or it is, is such a bummer. Huge, huge bummer. Ugh. We have, we're down to our last one. We went through 13 Aww. soups pretty really fast. So the last one is Italian wedding. I'm not sure if we've had this. I spent my entire life hating Italian wedding soup because I think Ooh, that the meatballs small are meatballs are, weird, are scary. Uh, Off-putting. Um, Late in life, I, I became, a, fan. became a Chicorina fan. And it's pretty close. Right. I don't know what the difference between Chicorina and Italian wedding is actually. What I do like is um, the little Israeli couscous, the, the tiny, the pearl, tiny round pastas. Well, try them in know. this. I mean, they're like mush moosh. <laughs> just slides down your throat. Total moosh. I don't mind the flavor too much. No. Tiny hint of that herby thing. Mm hmm. Okay. But it's not, it's not I'm going to try the tiny meatball. It's not as soft. So soft. Absolutely. So no flavor. <laughs> it's just no flavor at all. Mm mm. Oh. No. Insane. Honestly, own. Progresso Chicorino is better than this, and that should not be the case. Okay. Well, looks like this ranking is actually going to be pretty short. Okay. What's your favorite? Okay. Um, the creamy tomato. That's definitely my favorite too. Yeah. I think I would, I, I'm actually going to probably buy that. Like, I think it's really good and I think you can doctor it up if you want yes, to. Yes. You that, could do a lot with I that. Mean, that. would obviously a grilled cheese would be incredible. And the pasta visual, I would 100% buy Pasta visual again. for sure. Yeah. I think because it again, is. that homemade yep. cozy cozy 
if you any flavors. Are, anytime you're not feeling well, you're going to be so happy that you have that jar in your pantry. And in your pants. In your pants. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Like us, comment on us, Sub subscribe to us, buy all of our merch. Tell us what soups you love. Oh yeah, tell us your favorite soups. We're genuinely interested. Tell us what we should try next. Yeah. Don't tell us to try all of the condensed Campbell's soups because there's 83 of them. It's insane. And we just don't have it in us. No, but don't make us do that. I can't have cream of bacon in my life. <gasps> we should do a live taste test of something like that. Oh yeah, though. and it's just a full and it's like, day. Yes. <laughs> Tune in whenever you feel like it as we try 85 people's soups. <laughs> and then everybody goes and gets like an IV of hydration because of the I huge cannot, amount of sodium we've had. I cannot even imagine what that would do to your bod. Well, we're going to find out. Tune in. Bye. Bye.